What's up guys, it's your mom's favorite PokeTuber here, and today we are having an OU tier match against my boy Weedle Twin Needle from YouTube. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below if you guys don't know who he is. He makes some really awesome Pokemon content. He uses like really weird sets, and uh, in this battle both of us are bringing some heat here. So we're having an OU tier match. My opponent is rocking the Tapu Bulu, Jirachi, Kartana, Swoobat. Chandelure and the Rotom Wash. While looking at my team, I actually got my team from Gold Azu on YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below as well. She makes some really interesting teams. And this team caught my eye because it's built around a Trick Room Victini, believe it or not. I know it sounds fucking insane, but <laughs> yeah. So look at my team. We've got the Lando T Azumarill. We have the Victini Stack Attacka. I almost said a <laughs> I almost said a Lolan uh, Obama Snow. It's actually a Mega Obama Snow. And uh, we have the Latios, so this battle was really fun, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Lando T, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Tapu Bulu. And forgive me, guys, I do have to be a little bit quieter than normal. We do have some guests over for the holidays, and I don't want to disturb them any more than I have to. So anyway, my Intimidate's going to activate, lowering his attack. His Grassy Surge is going to summon the Grassy Terrain, lowering the damage of my Earthquake, as well as healing him every turn, and that's annoying as hell. But now he's going to get the hell out of here and bring out Blow Me, <laughs> Blow Me Away, the Chandelure. Great nickname. And uh, I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up some free Stealth Cocks and basically get the hell out of here, because I do not want to fuck with the Chandelure, as Chandelure has a monstrous special attack stat. So I'm just going to U-turn, and oddly enough, I actually outspeed him. I'm actually a bulky Landorus, and most Chandelure are Choice Scarf. So this kind of tells me he's probably 0 IVs in speed with Trick Room. As we'll see here, as I bring in my Azumarill, he does go for the Trick Room, which is kind of funny. It would be scary, but I'm actually bringing a Trick Room team as well. So we got Trick Room v Trick Room, and when that happened in the battle, I couldn't help but laugh, because I was like, well, damn, now I don't even have to set up Trick Room. He did it for me, so <laughs> here I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet. As he actually lives that, I'm surprised, honestly, because I'm choice banded, but <laughs> him being Weedle Twin Needle, his fucking weakness policy is going to activate. He said that's his favorite item, so it, I, it honestly doesn't even surprise me. <laughs> He's just going to fucking hit me with the energy ball there, and in the grassy terrain, that is going to do a metric cum load of damage to my Azumarill and knock me out on uh, turn 4 here. So I am behind 6-5 to five right now, but I'm going to bring out my boy Stack Attack here. <laughs> greatest name of all time for any Pokemon ever. And uh, honestly, Stack Attacka can basically 1v1 his entire team. <laughs> so here, I'm going to just go for the Stone Edge as it was my safest play. As he's going to bring out his Rotom Wash, and that does a <laughs> fuck ton of damage to that Rotom Wash. And um, here, my opponent actually makes a really good play here. He actually swaps out as I was going for the Z move here just to kill off his Rotom Wash, but he actually brings out his Chandelure on the Stealth Rocks and dies before I can get my Z move off. So here, my Z move was literally wasted. <laughs> so that really sucks. It's honestly a shame that it plays the full animation because it's going to make the, the battle a little bit longer than it needs to be. But yeah, so my Z move is going to unfortunately fail. So I literally wasted my Z move <laughs> for nothing. Fucking blows. So here my opponent's going to bring out the Tapu Bulu, basically just to come in and set up the grassy terrain, and uh, he's going to get the hell out of here now because he knows that I can basically Oko this thing with a Gyro Ball, and he's going to bring out the Rotom Wash once again to take some Stealth Rocks damage, and the Gyro Ball, which unfortunately does not kill him, even though it does, it actually does decent damage, I guess, I mean, he was kind of low already, but... Anyway, now he's going to get some leftovers back, as well as the grassy terrain, and the trick room is gone, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to swap out now. Unfort, unfort. So here, I'm going to bring out the Latios, and uh, here, I kind of make a misplay. My opponent's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp on the swap. Unfortunately, he misses, not that it would have mattered much, but uh, here, I actually go for the trick, predicting him to bring in the Swoobat. <laughs> And uh, he's actually just going to stay in here, and he's basically just going to take the uh, Choice Scarf on his Rotom, rather than his Swoobat, which is kind of unfortunate, but anyway, he's going to go for the Volt Switch. It's going to do, like, no damage, but it's going to allow him to maintain momentum here and bring out something that can deal with my Latios. So he chooses to bring out the damn Jirachi, and <laughs> guys, this Jirachi set is fucking hilarious. Holy shit, watch this. So... Here, I'm just going to swap out after the, uh, the effects and shit happen, leftovers and stuff. 
I swap out into my damn Victini here, thinking that this Jirachi is basically Victini food. He goes for the damn secret power, and in the grassy terrain, it has a 60% chance to put me to sleep with his Serene Grace ability. So, of course, me being Chad, he puts me to sleep. <laughs> this fucking Jirachi is fucking heat. So, he's gonna go ahead and set up stealth rocks of his own, and uh, he's gonna basically get the hell out of here. I'm gonna be stuck asleep here. My damn Victini sleeping on the job. <laughs> Dude, when that happened in the battle, I fucking died. This is such a Weedle to a Needle thing to do. Holy shit. He always brings, like, ridiculous shit to battles. It's fucking hilarious. So anyway, he's gonna bring out his Tapu Bulu now. And, uh, basically at this point, I'm, fingers crossed, praying my Victini wakes up. And thankfully I do. I'm able to set up the Trick Room. That's right, boys and girls. This Trick Room, this, I mean, this Victini has Trick Room. And uh, I'm about to put in the finest work here, so I actually pack the V-Create, which actually kind of works out on a Trick Room Victini because it lowers my speed, which makes me obviously better in Trick Room. So I'm gonna go ahead and V-Create this damn Tapu Bulu, get, them, get him the hell out of here. He honestly didn't really, he doesn't have a solid switch anymore to my Victini. Victini literally is about to run a damn train through my opponent's entire team. So he's going to bring out the Swoobat now. And he's going to activate his Grassy Seed, which is a strat that uh, he's been using for a while now. He's going to get a plus two defense boost, but honestly, Victini is a damn monster. And I'm just going to Bolt Strike this damn Swoobat. And even with the plus two defense boost, that Swoobat stands fucking no chance. That Bolt Strike did a metric cum load of damage. And uh, here he's going to bring out his Jirachi again, which is fine because I can just V-create this thing into the next galaxy. And, uh, like I said, Victini's just coming through. <laughs> Victini's here. Victini is now. And, uh, that is a dead Jirachi. I believe his last two mons are the Kartana, which he doesn't want to bring in now. And, fuck, what is the other one? I think it's Rotom. Yeah, it's Rotom Wash. <clears throat> so here he's gonna bring out his Rotom. And, uh, I'm basically just going to go for the Bolt Strike on this thing and kill this thing off as well. Thankfully, I didn't miss. Luckily, Victini has an amazing ability in Victory Star. It uh, raises your accuracy by 10%, which is pretty fucking neat. So that is a dead Rotom, and my opponent's last mon is this Kartana. Now, unfortunately for me, the uh, Trick Room is going to run out here, and uh, he's going to bring out Balanced XD. Now, I honestly did not expect this to kill me, <laughs> so he's going to go for the Night Slash. I know Kartana has, like, disgustingly good attack. I did not think that was going to kill me. I actually had a secret on this Victini as well. I was actually weakness policy. So I was hoping that I was going to show that off to him. Because I know how much he loves weakness policy. But yeah, that's going to kill off my Victini. Unfort. Here, I'm just going to bring out Landers to get the Intimidate. To get rid of his damn beast boost that he just got. And um, yeah, here I'm just going to go for the HP Ice. As my opponent is going to go for Leaf Blade. He actually crits me there, which I was pretty bummed out about. And uh, he's going to take some Rocky Helmet damage as well as this HP Ice. I actually crit him back, <laughs> which is kind of fucking wild. And uh, here he's just going to forfeit because the game was mine pretty much. Because after he killed off my, my uh, Landorus, I could basically just bring in my Mega Obama Snow and just Ice Shard him to death. So unfortunately that wasn't a close game, but it was <laughs> honestly it was really enjoyable. Um, just the silliness of this battle was kind of wild. That Jirachi was fucking hilarious. I died when he put me to sleep <laughs> in the grassy terrain. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle nonetheless, and uh, we'll definitely rematch sometime. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.